once we have understood the concept of centroid now we would be going on to the center of gravity part first i will give you all the definition of center of gravity center of gravity is a single point about which the entire weight of the body acts so center of gravity is a single point about which the entire weight of the body acts it is denoted by cg it means whenever we write cg it means center of gravity cg will remain same irrespective of the position or orientation of the body it means center of gravity that point will not change it will remain same even if we turn the body we change the position of the body then also center of gravity will remain same it won't change next cg is considered for only those bodies which have mass or volume it means center of gravity will only be considered for such bodies which have some mass or their volume is there in other words this is the other way of telling that cg is to be considered only for 3d figures because 3d figures will have volume so here i have given some brief description about center of gravity that center of gravity is a single point about which the entire weight of a body acts it is denoted by cg cg will remain same irrespective of the position or orientation of the body cg is considered for only those bodies which have mass or volume suppose we have a body of any shape now the total weight of the body i'll denote it by w this total weight w is made up of small small weight suppose w1 w2 w3 w4 w5 and so on like this you have number of weight now if we have number of small small weights and we add them that becomes total weight w if this total weight w instead of showing over the individual weights we can show this total weight about a particular point about a single particular point and that point would be called as the center of gravity so i am again drawing the figure and instead of showing the individual weight here i would be showing total weight about one single point so this is the single point about which the total weight acts and the location of this point with respect to some coordinate system here if i see the position of point g with respect to axis it would be x bar and y bar so this x bar and y bar gives the position of g this g is nothing but cg called as center of gravity it means here there is a figure which would be having some volume and weight as well and if the weight is there then it is made up of small small quantities of weight individual category if we add them that becomes total weight this total weight is to be shown about a single point that point is called as center of gravity 
given by the location x bar and y bar this center of gravity will not change even if we change the direction of this body or if we change its orientation so in this video you all would be able to learn the definition and the concept of center of gravity